Hi there, uh, my name's Paul Clydesdale. Uh, we're here at Rutland Water today to have a look at my selection of Fillin' Mill flies. Uh, I'm one of the Fillin' Mill ambassadors. I'm also the chairman of the Pike Fly Fishing Association. So this is uh, uh, my first fly in the range. Uh, this is a silver perch. It's a very, very good fly, uh, especially for big pike. It's the great colour combination for pike. Silver, greens, blacks, pearl body big eyes on it. It's very, very lightweight, easy to cast, it doesn't absorb water, it's mainly a tinsel body. Um, I've spent the last four days on Rutland here fishing for pike. Uh, my boat partner had a 25 pounder on one of these, he had a 10 pound Xander. It's a very, very good fly. I've had pike up to 23 pounds on it this week. Uh, I know some of the other boys are out, have been using it and done exceptionally well on it. This is a fly that you really should have in your box, this is a great pattern. So, second pattern is one of my gold perch patterns. Um, it's exactly the same design as the silver, except this time we've got a, a gold tinsel body. It's just a slight variation of the, 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 the silver, just to show the fish something slightly different. Um, if you're going over the same fish or the same area all the time, they can wise up at times, so it's, it can be good to show them slight, uh, something slightly different. Again, lightweight, highly mobile, Easy to cast, great colour combinations, another very good fly for a big pike. So my third fly in the range is the silver bait fish pattern. Uh, this is just to represent any sort of silver bait fish in the water. Um, again, it's tied with, um, it's purely tinsel based this one with a slightly darker back. We've got a slight blue sheen through the side of it uh, to give it a kind of roachy colour. Uh, tied on as a all of the flies are tied on Tiemco 600 SP hooks, very good quality hooks, high quality hooks. Uh, again, another very effective fly for pike. I keep most of my pike flies small, I prefer, uh, I prefer smaller flies. I like showing my kind of bite size fly as opposed to a big one. I think it works much better for pike. Um, so, another very good fly. Right, so this is uh, my fourth fly in the range. Uh, this is a stealth jig. This one's slightly different to the rest in that the materials are tied on the side of the shank. Uh, you can reduce the amount of material and get a wider profile on it. The pike will see your flies, or generally they'll see your flies from behind and below. So what we're doing here is creating a slightly wider profile on this fly with the minimal amount of material. I've added a couple of bead chain in the front uh, to exaggerate the jigging action on it. So what we, we would normally do is throw this out the side of the boat or the front of the boat, have a couple of strips, pop it up through the water, then let it fall. This is a very good pattern for big pike going chew. Uh, over the last week or so we've caught a lot of pike on Rutland here, Rutland as well with this. We've also caught Xander on Grafham with it. So this is a very, very good fly. I would, I would never venture out without this in my box. This is normally one of the first patterns I'll put on uh, uh, when I'm fishing. As I say, big pike love a jigged fly.